swing it. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to talk about swing trading because this is a topic that I've actually covered here on the channel. Um, and a lot of you guys keep asking the question and don't quite understand it. And I know that um, most of you are people that are new to trading and you're trying to figure out uh, some of these terms. So I want to just focus on swing trading today and really cover that, explain to you uh, my strategy when I do swing trade. So uh, before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content again swing trading would involve you buying a security and holding it overnight holding it for a week holding it for a month or even holding it for a couple of months so you're not holding it long term you're not giving it that three five ten years uh, time horizon so your swing trade time horizon is really really short so most people do either long-term investing which is just buying a stock and holding it for until you retire or you can do a swing trade which is just to build income so you can decide that every two weeks or every month I want to be able to generate some income and then you buy some stocks and flip them and make that money or you can day trade which is buy and sell uh, the same day so intraday trading so you buy it goes up you sell and you make profit so when you go into swing trading there's a lot of things that I want you to be aware of before you even start uh, first is deciding what stocks you want to swing trade how do you find the stocks that you want to swing trade um, how do you know when to swing trade that particular stock so I mean I do a lot of research um, of different stocks and then so I know some stocks i know a catalyst is coming up let's say if it's a pharmaceutical company they are waiting for some approver and you can read the news and see that they, they'll get uh, you know this green light that they'll probably get the approver you can talk about let's say if it's a uh, automobile uh, company and they have uh, maybe some new technology that they're going to put into their their automobiles or it could be just a tech company that is putting out a new feature on their platform that people are going to like again that's not the list but just some of the things that you would consider some could be your earnings report so i'll give you a good example like pinterest I, I've, I love trading Pinterest earnings report because they always crush it and usually you would get at least between five to ten dollar um, spread when you trade your earnings report so those are some of the things that can push you to do uh, swing trading so when you go into a swing trade I want you to have a strategy I don't want you to just walk in there uh, thinking that you're just gonna buy and, and sell so I have a clear plan and so by the plan I want you to know exactly what your entry price is gonna be so what price are you willing to pay for that particular uh, security at that particular time? And then once you identify your price, I want you to set your target. I want you to know exactly when you feel comfortable taking profit. Let's say you buy a stock at $10, that's your entry price. You want to take profit at say $12, so that's a $2 spread. And then when do you want to get out of that trade if it's going south you can say 950 so you, you you're risking 50 cents to make two dollars okay that sounds about good but when you have that strategy you go into that trade you know for sure that if you go south i'm out at 950 and you can take profit at 12 dollars. and in most cases this is what kills a lot of people because the minute they go into a trade they say they want to get out at 12 it gets to 12 and then they see they see that like there's still momentum and the stock keeps moving they just stay in that trade they don't use their strategy. So if you find yourself in that situation, what I want you to do is once it hit your price target, I want you to put a stop loss at that position. It doesn't matter. Secure that particular profit first before you start chasing anything, just in case if the stock were to just do kind of a, a, like a, a fake squeeze and then come back, you can get out, but at least you've secured your $2 profit that you wanted in that particular trade and the same thing if you put your stop loss at say 950 the minute that stock start pulling back and hit don't try to move your stop loss down thinking that's going to bounce up just let it if it hits your stop loss it hits your stop loss you can get out and again with Weibo that I use they have what you call a bracket order so when you place a bracket order if the stock start moving up and pass, let's say, your price uh, target, what you can do is you can move your stop loss and bring it up 
and secure that profit. So I don't know all the other platforms, but I know that stop loss or trailing stop loss is most platforms do have that. So you can definitely leverage that. Again, a trailing stop would be one where you can say, okay, after it hits your $2 uh, price point, your target, now you can put a trailing stop there and say, okay, if it keeps moving up, trail this at maybe 5% or 10% your last price. So again, if you say 5%, it goes up, it start pulling back 5% of the last price it will kick you out so that's a strategy to help you um, really take away emotions out of your trading because um, most greedy savages that lose money is because you put your emotions in there you go on a trade and you have a plan to make two dollars a share and then you go in you see it goes to 250 or three dollars you get so excited and then you forget you you deviate away from your your strategy so you sticking to your strategy having that plan and not deviating from it is something that will help you down the road if you really want to succeed with uh, string trading and again guys picking the right stocks to swing trade is something that you want to really consider because you want stocks that have a catalyst they have a momentum coming something needs to happen to drive the price of that stock up you're not just going in there thinking oh i just want to buy this hope that goes up hope is okay but it's not really a strategy i don't want you hoping at least i want you to have a reason why it should go up so that even if it doesn't go up but at least you had a clear reason why you were doing it you didn't just go in blindly so that's what i wanted to cover in this video um, I hope this was kind of helpful to just give you guys a little bit of context when it comes to swing trading. So again, guys, just a quick recap here. Uh, swing trading is just buying and holding a security over a short period of time and selling it for some profit. And again, you when you go into a swing trade, you want to take into consideration the stock that you want to trade, the price at which you want to go in, the, the target price at which you want to get out, and it, uh, the stop loss price at which, if anything, go uh, against you you want to get out of that trade and live to die another day i don't want you to be a greedy savage so let me know in the comment section if this does help and if it does then i'm going to start making more videos like this to kind of give you guys a little bit some of the strategies because when i post a video on different stocks i would probably uh, just passively mention that oh i'm swing trading this one and then i get questions in the comment section like but uh, what do you mean swing trading uh how do you know if you should swing trade or you should hold long term so that's why i'm actually doing uh, some of this video so again let me know in the comment section if this was useful if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also if you are looking to get started with investing guys we both has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get free stacks links in the description and as always do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated Oh,